Is water bending more powerful in the end dimension? And does metal bending work on copper? Welcome to Mythbenders, the show where we figure out what is and isn't possible on my Four Elements Minecraft server. My name's Blitz, and I'm here with my water bending friend. So, as I've mentioned in previous videos, water bending abilities deal more damage and have a larger area of effect at night. But does that buff carry over to the end dimension? We're going to be using the water spout ability as an example. So, during the day, my friend can fly up to 16 blocks above the ground using the ability, but at night he can fly up to 24 blocks above the ground. We tried this in the end, and unfortunately he could only climb 16 blocks. This myth is false. Mm. One of the most obsolete materials in Minecraft right now is copper. Well, aside from making cool statues and lightning rods. But can earthbenders use copper to metal bend? My friend is going to try the metal fragments ability and then the extraction ability. And as you can see, they both work like a charm. This myth is true. What myth should we test next? Let me know down below.